channel. Well, as many of y'all know that I had issue with my sciatic. So I haven't really got to come out here to the garden. I've came out here and just glanced, but I hadn't been able to come out here. And uh, I do have this walking cane that my aunt gave me, only if like sharp pain hit me and I'm like, oh gosh, you know, like that. <laughs> Y'all that know, no. So anyway, um, I'm coming out here to the garden. Check out things. It was storming today. And uh, look at these clouds. It's going to be some more storming. But I wanted to come out here and check on the garden, see what's going on. I miss being out here. I miss it, y'all. The worst thing is being home, looking out the window. You can see the garden, but you can't go get in it. Not fun. All right. So you can see a lot of damage and i see aphids pretty much over all of the leaves even the ones that are not uh dead so that means all of this gotta get taken out oh i hate that but with the storms and then i hadn't been able to be out here the aphids just have completely taken over so while i'm here go and get my scissors Let's see. Yeah. I'll oh, I got my clippers. So we're going to go ahead and cut the bottoms of these. Yep. I'm going to cut the bottoms of them. that but I'll just put something else here matter of fact I know exactly what I probably will put here I have some blue butterfly pea um, flowers since I don't know I don't know if I want to put them in the soil or grow something just short here for a little bit I don't know but I need to take all this down I think I'm going to take it down today. I'll take it down tomorrow, but I went on to clip the roots of all these because I need to be covered in some kind of uh, covering because I don't want aphids all over me. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to, I'll take it down tomorrow, but I did clip all, all of the bottom roots. So it should be much easier to cut out and tear off. I just want to check out things. This pool is overflowing. <laughs> Sound of weed eat again. This marigold is falling apart. So I am going to go ahead and take this out. Keep the steak. Alrighty. Now, like I said, I don't have anything in this bed. This is just an empty bed that I will plant stuff for the fall in. Yep. It has plenty of ants in there though. I see y'all. <laughs> I see the ants in there. But yeah, this bed is empty. 
this bed. <laughs> Those are all zinnias coming back, y'all. Okay. I need to cut all of these down here. So right here is my banana melon. And look, guys. We actually got a banana melon growing. Yay! My roselle is looking really good and tall. I like that. These cucumbers back there are going to have to be torn out as well. These are looking kind of bad too. My okra is looking really nice. Look at that. It's like an okra forest. I love it. I love putting my okra close together. I know some people don't, but my okra thrives still when it's real close like this. So I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. It works for me. So I do have aphid issues because they like okra. It don't matter if you space them apart, they like okra. So um, the rain or rinse most of them away and then I'll come out here with the hose another day and spray them I got a beautiful knockout rose look at that look at that they just changed different colors my little hibiscus come here little girl <laughs> beautiful now like I said in this bed is <laughs> zinnias coming back these are all zinnias from the seeds of it so they're trying to come back we have basil I left in here here is a ground cherry here and pretty much I'm not getting many ground cherries because the bugs are eating them up they like this but I don't mind there's ground cherries falling in here I don't care if they come back this is all basil this is um just a sweet basil I take these off of here I don't want it to flower yet I don't want it to go to seed yet so you see that take that off yeah here's another ground cherry mixed in with this my friend gave me this years ago this flower I forgot what they're called but they grow everywhere <laughs> like they will show up everywhere but they're beautiful pink flowers so I don't mind them I don't mind them This is a part of a kusha. I don't know what it's doing. It's going somewhere. Look at this. Look where it's way over here. Oh, and it got ants all on it too. Look. Flowers way over here. The babies. Oh look, it's a female. She's over here covered in ants. But it's a female right there. Okay. Then it came all the way out the bed all the way out this way and I don't know what this is some kind of mint I guess this is my cinnamon basil this is a bumble get out of my face it's like I'm busy now as you can see my leaves are stripped from my uh, ground cherry right up under here y'all now I killed three of these things yesterday and look there's another one there is another look look you trying to fight me get yourself off of them Here's some more of that same flower that does the little pink flowers everywhere. These are my blueberry bushes. They're getting some new flowers on here. Some more leaves on there. Just checking things out, seeing how things are growing. My um ginger is not liking to be look at this yellow jack watch him because you know yellow jacks like to pop you and they ain't got no reason to they just like that but this is ginger 
this is ginger here this is a watermelon I put in there so it's doing pretty good sweet potato sweet potatoes he's looking kind of rough here and these are white potatoes which I need to probably dig up out of there because yeah the all the stuff and died off in there and so I'm sure it's wet though right now so I'm gonna let it sit there but I'm gonna have to pull these up and see if we have any potatoes I can see this must be one of the seed potatoes is up but yeah I'm gonna have to check this um, sometime this week all right as for my tomatoes back here i'm probably gonna just take them all out they look very diseased and everything so i'm gonna clear all of that out yeah oh i think i see a cucumber on that other side oh goodness um yep clearing all these tomatoes out they're not doing anything weeds I need to weed eat out here this celery y'all is still trying to survive yep let's go around here we have this lemongrass it's doing good right there Here's another ground cherry, which the bugs just devours. It just eats that up. Yep. Uh, we have blackberry bush here. That's my thornless blackberry. This is my fig. Fig is not looking well either. She looked like she needs to move around somewhere. I'm going to have to move her. Like I said, all of this is going to get cleared off. Even if it has cucumbers on here, which I'm sure it does, but all it's got to be taken out. Yep, all of this. Clear it all out. Let's see. I don't know what this is. It's, it's dead. Extra dead. Oh, that was my um, borge. That board's died. Okay. There's some onions. There's two onions. Oh, this looks bad too. Look at this ginger. It's like it's getting ate up as well. Yeah, so I'm going to clear this all out. Leaf for the bugs. I'm going to wear a jacket or something because I don't want the ants and everything eating me up. Put me some gloves on and everything to pull this on off of here. All right. We have a cucumber running from over here. Oh, and I see a cucumber on here we can get. It's small. We're going to go ahead and take it because we're going to take this cucumber plant down and see if there's any more. Yep, one down here. We're just gonna go ahead and take them off. I'm not gonna keep them on here. There we go. I think I saw one more little bitty one. I'm gonna take this. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take those cucumbers out. I'll probably plant some more cucumbers for the fall. Get the little fall harvest of cucumbers. Then I'll be through. Um, like I said, these are my roselle. Something is eating the leaves of my roselle. Not good. But it is growing up. It's getting bushy. I have one, two, three, I think five. It's five in here. Look at that big sunflower. Yep. 
see some okra. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this poor Roselle. Uh-oh. That was the fifth one right there. She not doing good. Uh-oh. Hopefully she'll get better. All right. So, I'm just gonna go around. I hadn't been on this side of the garden in a while just to see what's going on. Leaf footed bugs. Some yellow leaves I need to take off. But overall, it's not looking too bad. Not looking too bad, y'all. Um, of course, it's wet and stuff in there because it just rained and it's going to do some more raining. But I can't wait to fall gardening. I like doing fall gardening. There's more cabbages and brassicas and stuff that, you know. So, we'll get to that soon. If you haven't hit that subscribe button to join CC's Texas Garden, go ahead and do that. Hit me with a like on this video, y'all, and I'll see you next time.